Hey everybody, Austin here with another episode of my Let's Play on Binding of Isaac. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's just hit select and we'll go Isaac. Alright, so, uh, alright, re-rolling, restarting, because I was stupid and hit the uh, R button right along. R button, but hit the uh, bomb button. So, let's see what we got in our first room. Uh, let's see, Charm of the Vampire. So, not a very good item though, but it might help us survive a little bit longer. We will find out. Well, it's been a couple days since I've played Isaac. You know, I had three or four episodes recorded, so I was focusing on other things. But, I have the next couple days off, so I'll probably get a couple of videos recorded over these next couple days of all my series. I know it's been about two weeks since I've done some Dark Souls, so I definitely need to get some Dark Souls recorded. Um, you know, I've just been really in an EU4 mode. You know, Europe Universal 4 has been getting a lot of my attention, but... You know, let's give Isaac some love. So we're on the basement one. Easier the two floors. That we could get. And it looks like we have found... our boss right away. We got a key, which will be helpful for the next floor. Let's go see what we're fighting. Let's throw, alright, this shouldn't be too difficult. Ooh, what's up, that's a champion throw at two of them. I think this is the hardest champion version we can get. Especially if they're not both in sync like that anymore. Need to get one of them out. So far we're doing pretty good. And as I say that we take damage. It always happens. I should never say so far we're doing pretty good because then we take damage. Alright, one down. But first floor, red heart damage doesn't matter. And I already have the achievement for the first two floors, so not too worried about it. Alright, mom's lipstick, which is a range up. We got a tinted heart, so we're back to full health. I just can't remember, was there a tinted rock in any of these rooms? I don't think so. Alright, let's head on down. Could have looked for the secret room, but with only three bombs, the first floor is very, you know, the secret room's not always where you think it would be, so I figured let's, didn't want to risk it. And we got Cellar 2, so Cellar 2 is the harder of the type of floors we can get. Slot machine might be useful if we can get some money. Well, need to dodge. Got him, cool. And let's see what's in our mob shop room. Golden chest. Might be good, but I need to prioritize this key for the uh, sh item room. So I um, went and saw Ender Games last night. I enjoyed it. You know, I hadn't seen, the, I haven't read any of the books or really knew anything about the story. I mean, obviously I knew that we're training military, and ch or children in the military to, to protect us. Um, kind of saw the ending coming. Don't want to spoil it for people who haven't read the books or have not seen the movie yet. But overall, I enjoyed it. You know, I liked, ooh, oh, come on, that's stupid damage. Um, I'd like to see a sequel. You know, I don't know if they will or not. So opening week and it only did about 30, do 30 million domestically which puts it on par for mo with movies like uh, After Earth but hopefully it'll do better and get some good international numbers and we might see some sequels alright uh, we picked up chocolate milk which allows us to store up our tiers like that I don't know if for our normal tiers if it gives us a range down at all or, not, or a power down or all but it's nice for if we know we're going to have to get one shot in we can uh one shot a lot of enemies. Uh, be nice to get it with like Polyphemus or well, Polyphemus in general would be nice to get, but get some damage up with it. We found another key. Still might save this key to prioritize the item shop on the next floor. And I'm not going to do the curse room right now, just because it would cause red heart damage and I want to. Try not to take any red heart damage before fighting the boss. Right. 
chocolate melt's working out good there, because if I know I'm going to have some time to build up a shot, it really helps out. And let's go fight our boss. Fighting Pin. Chocolate melt, I think, actually works good for Pin. I think this might have been a tears down also. Alright. Can't take any more hits. Almost got him. One more hit. We got him. Cool. And we got Sim Stealth, which is a health up. I think it's also a speed up, too. And let's see what's underneath with the Devil Room. Horror Babylon and Spirit of Night for two, uh, two health each. Uh, I think I'm going to pass. Not really feeling any of those items right now. And we have one likely spot for our secret room. Let's go see what's in there. Nope. Alright. Was this a full health up here? Well, it's cool, so we will check out the curse room then. Let's see what we can find. Guppy's item would be nice. Would love to get Guppy's tail. Or just a Guppy item in general. Ooh, and we know where the secret room is now. Let's go in. Just one below. Alright. Not worth it. And we will get our red heart. Uh, so, at the time of this recording, you know, like I said, I had to take it off some days from work. I initially took off these days from work because I was going to go um, camp out for the opening of a restaurant, but uh, the weather it snowed last night and really cold, so I didn't want to camp out for it. But that's alright though. Use this for some free time. Let's see, we're heading down to the next floor, which we got catacombs. First of the labyrinth. I can't remember. Is this an XL floor now? I think that's what Curse of the Labyrinth means. So it means we have two item rooms on this floor, uh, one shop, and two bosses. Could be good, could be bad. Uh, means we only have one chance for deal with the devil though. And we now have much lesser chance. Because I took red heart damage. Right. Safety cap. You should allow more pills to drop. I don't think we've taken any pills, so we don't know if they're good or bad. One thing with chocolate milk is you can't hold down your key for rapid fire because holding down your key will save up your milk. Oh, really nothing I could do there. Right, vampire coming into play which is nice. And we got another key so we can go to both uh, item rooms now. 
right, and I may die here. Reed heads are two some of my favorite worst or not favorite but uh, unfavorite enemies. Awesome, so now we can go to those item rooms, and if we get enough money, we can go to the shop. Alright, definitely much needed health. of these asshole spiders and their generators. Okay, got some more health, which is nice. Oh, man, I just lost it. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think we have an XL floor. I think we just have a longer floor, like maybe four or five room longer. Because we should have found some of our item rooms by now. Oh. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not minding that we picked up Vampire right now because it probably has saved our life. And we will keep looking. Golden chest? Maybe. Alright, more money. That's what I want. It looks like there was nothing down this whole path at all. So let's go look down some of the other areas. All right, more greed heads. Uh, that's one reason why I don't like them. So when you take damage, they steal your money. Only one way to go. And we died. Alright, well let's try we'll try one more time. See how we do. You know, I just was, that run was doable with our current setup. I was just, as you can see right here, I'm just taking stupid damage. Now, I'm not recording this too early in the morning. It's only about, it's about 8 a.m. See what's in our item room? Monstrous tooth. Alright. Spacebar item, I believe, shoots a giant tooth. Not that good, but, you know, it's 
probably better than nothing. Let's go fight our boss. Headless Horseman. All right. Oh, well. So I thought I shot a giant tooth. I never used it before, but it actually brings down a giant Monstros. Which was actually pretty good there. Really helped us out a lot. Um, yeah, let's take the pony. Give us flight. Let's see what we can get down here. Flight will help us on dodging. Oh, we got basement too. So easier than two floors. The thing we have to be careful though is with flight we have so much speed now. And we got a key. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, we're just not getting good items at all. Holy water is a passive defensive item. If we get hit, um, it will make a big puddle like that. And enemies that can walk over it die. Which S here didn't help us out at all. Much needed red heart. Because I have taken damage on this floor, it's less likely for us to get a deal with the devil. Oh, take another hit. Man, there's a tented rock. Very ex interested in that. Just going a little slow here. All right. Let's see what's in our tinted rock. Spirit heart. Awesome. It's like we only got one way to one way to go. Lost our spirit heart already. Wrong direction. Let's see if we can get rid of these popcorn. Kind of trap, nowhere from the go. Alright, got a key. Won't go to the item shop just because I have no use for it. And we found our boss. Stupid damage. High six four, that might help us out. Alright, 
This shouldn't be too difficult. We have the speed to help us out with this. We're just out in the last part of it. And then we have the speed to take him out. One more hit or so. Got him. Health and health up. Cool. Let's go to the next floor. Alright, curse of the labyrinth. Now this is an XL floor. And we got the relic. This may help us out. I believe it's every five floors we get a sp our rooms, we get a spirit heart drop. And let's keep going. One down, two down, nope, there we go, bombs and keys, so we should be able to go to the other sh item room when we find it now. Health up. Should be coming down the relic work in here soon. Not yet. Should be able to just sit here and take out some of these guys. Kind of cheesing it, I know. We'll take out these two pretty easily. There we go. Got another key. Oh, and, and there's our spirit heart. Golden chest might open that. Open to jumping enemies, which I don't like. They might jump right into you. One more to go. Yeah, he's 
being really he's being really aggressive. Got some money out of the fire. Let's keep looking down. Seems kind of an odd floor layout. Almost dodged right into one of them. Definitely use some more damage. As you can see here, my base damage is not very high. It's taking us forever to kill enemies. guys just focus on the fly spawners yeah flies are taking two hits to kill on simplifying the room makes it easier to dodge and we're less likely to take damage one more to go flying is definitely helping here and not like the jumping enemies damage there. Kind of cheese him out there. Cool. Alright. Chest and a key. Pill. What is our pill? Oh, and another spirit heart. Speed up. <laughs> Didn't really need to speed up, but all right. Kind of cheese this a little bit because we can. Champion version. Ooh, that felt close. Carol card, High Priestess. All right. Oh, let's be careful blowing up the TNT. Up to seven cents. Might be able to buy something from the item room. We have the keys for it. Or from the shop. I mean. Um, such a large floor. Uh, 
All right. Almost got him. Cool, another ball. That wasn't too difficult. Alright, we found our second item room and the bosses. Being careful I don't blow myself up here. down. Two, one more to go. Cool. Let's see what's in our item room. Portable slot machine. Alright, nothing I can use. Let's go ahead and fight our bosses. Alright, Gertie. Shouldn't be too difficult. Need to simplify it. All right, took some damage, but we're still good. No red heart damage yet. Alright, took some run heart damage, so deal with the devil less likely now. All these nubs. Close out all these enemies. Now that shouldn't have been a hard fight, but I lost a lot of health out of it. But we got Squeezy, which is a tears up, and some more spirit hearts. So let's see how we do against Chubb. Yeah, I just need some more damage output. The damage is what's really hurting me right now. Here we go. Almost got him. Alright. Another spirit up and a range up. Now let's go back, collect those red hearts, and then we'll head down to the next floor. to 12 cents. 
Yeah, let's just go to the next floor. Necropolis one, awesome. By awesome, I mean not really. Stupid damage. The flies I have to get through. Lots of dodging. As they're being generated left and right. Almost got these guys down. Uh, lots of stupid damage. Cool. Good placement in the boom fly. Uh, let's see what's in here. Troll bomb. Not worth it. When you fly into a curse room, you only take damage on the way out. These guys shouldn't be too difficult. It's just my damage output. I need more damage. I'm still on base Isaac damage right now. Or tarot card, the devil. All right. Oh. And of course, we get the gr easiest enemy in the world. All right. Some damage. Yeah, let's just use our devil card, which didn't do anything. Oh, actually gave me more tears up. You can see now our tears are red. Oh. One to go. Alright. Spirit heart and a key. Maybe. <sighs> Alright, took some stupid damage. Lots of stupid damage. I got some money back. Don't have enough health to go to the mob shop room. Oh. And we'll keep exploring.
Lots of dodging. Still took damage. Alright, well we have enough money for the shop now. If I, but I don't really have an item to use that 9 volt on. Let's see what's in here though. Two cents. Not worth it. Well, Tented Rock though. Spirit Heart. Awesome. We'll see what's in here. Mr. Boom. Or remote detonator. Oh. Yeah, I think. <laughs> At this point, I gotta stick with the, uh. Need to stick with the, uh. Pony for the flight. Don't have the health for him. I'm gonna have to use a bomb here. And a key, might as well use it. Tarot card, Wheel of Fortune. Maybe. Stupid damage everywhere. Well, we got a spirit, a spirit heart out of it. Now, without the relic, we probably would be definitely dead by now. And let's fight Loki. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know if the spikes will damage him or not. Alright, and we died. Well, could have been a better run. You know, a little rusty after not playing for a couple days, but thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you enjoy watching daily Isaac videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter at HillDog1378. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you guys next time.